So now let's do something exciting. We're going to try to um, use our phone as the Morse code sender. Um, to do this, we have downloaded this Morse code app that you'll see the link in your bre uh, blackboard. So let me start it. So this is what it looks like. You have a little wheel here. Make sure that it's uh, on two Morse code. And then we're going to write SOS. You click convert. So you might see an ad. You can just get rid of it. So this is what it looks like. This is SOS, three dots, three dashes, three dots. And here you have uh, different ways where you can do the Morse code. The one we're interested in is this one, play by flash. When you do so, uh, the LED on your phone flashes the Morse code. So what we're going to do is we're quite literally going to flash it to the receiver. It's going to see it and we're going to see on the display what it understood it did. So uh, let's, let's do so. So as you can see, it's not really working properly, is it? So the reason it's failing is because the phone and the sender receiver are not talking at the same speed. It's exactly like if a human were to talk very slowly or very fast. Um, so we have to make sure that the speed match between the two. So how do you do this? So if we look at the code, uh, you have two um, general sections that we mentioned earlier. The user settings where uh, you really may have changed a few things. That's where you choose where your LED is connected and things like this. But also the debug settings. That's where we're going to be able to have some feedback on what's happening with the, with the, the sender uh, receiver. On our case, we want to understand what's happening with the timing between the phone and the receiver. So this is where we're going to go to this one, debug timing. So find that line and change the false into a true. What's going to happen when you do so is we're gonna activate a, a, a li lines of codes that are gonna help us understand what's going on with the phone. As soon as, you, as you've done this, you're gonna upload the code to the Arduino. So now we're gonna flash the SOS using uh, the iPhone app. And as you can see in the serial monitor, we're getting a lot of times back. So the time is, as you can see, length off. That means how long the LED was off. Uh, and that's 371 milliseconds. Um, and then you see length on 229. So as you can see, there's some of them that are a little longer like this one, that's 900. So you have a short value and a long value. That's how Morse code works. The interesting bit is it didn't work. The message we received was only T's, right? We only received T, 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 T instead of SOS. The reason it didn't work is because they are not speaking at the same speed. Here, we're speaking at 300 milliseconds. Here in the code, we're speaking at 30. So we're much faster in the code. So now we're gonna adapt it to the same speed by writing 300 here, 300 milliseconds. We're gonna upload this. And as soon as it's uploaded, we're gonna try again. So. So let's flash it again. And this time, if you look at the LCD screen, you see that it's actually understanding our message. So that was the case for an iPhone. We're gonna show you in a second how uh, different senders might have different times, so we're going to use Android. So now we have an Android phone uh, using the same app. Again, you will find the link on your Blackboard. So we have the same message, SOS, and let's play it. So as you can see, the same thing happens. We sent SOS, but the receiver did not understand it and, and received a bunch of T's. But this time we have different time units. So if you look all the ones that we received, try to find for the shortest one. The shortest one is 185. So we're gonna put something in that range. I'm gonna put 190. So I'm gonna change it to 190 here. Send it. 
And this time, hopefully the phone and the receiver will work at the same speed. So let's try it again. So as you can see, timing is crucial in Morse code. Um, and by finding, using that tool, by finding the proper timing of your sender, then you can make sure that you can receive the message properly. And there you go.